So what do you get when the Streamlight ProTac 2.0 and the Streamlight ProTac HLX, the OG Streamlight, have a baby? The Streamlight ProTac HLX Pro. Let's get into it. So Streamlight is known for very high quality, yet affordable weapon lights and handheld lights for that matter. And this is their latest lineup to their catalog of rifle lights, the HLX Pro, the ProTac HLX Pro. What they did was they took everything good from the original ProTac HLX and from the ProTac 2.0, put them in a blender, gave it an adrenaline shot of candela and came out with this so before we go any farther if you like this sort of content please hit that like share subscribe button and comment basically anything down below it all helps with the algorithm i know everybody says that but it is true it all helps so hit that like share subscribe notification bell remember to hit all notifications if you want more videos from me and there's other ways to support the channel down below let's get into the light and let's go through some history here so we're gonna first take a quick look at the og the protac hlx thousand lumens twenty seven thousand one hundred candela uh, and it runs on an 18650 or streamlights version of an 18650 and i can't remember the 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 number right off the top of my head or a dual fuel of two cr 123 a's and then they came out with the 2.0 and a lot of people were disappointed in this it was much bigger with a lower candela output however they doubled the lumen output so it was 2,000 lumens and 17,300 candela and it runs on a much larger battery and the body is much larger however they added the uh, extra button here so you had the tape switch and you had an extra button on the tail cap as well as being a plug-in now there was a lot of people that were happy about this tail cap design just not so happy about the candela drop and output and the physical size of it so the protac hlx pro was born this has the same thousand lumen output as the original protac HLX, but they took that tail cap design, adopted it to the same body as the original ProTac. So it's, this is now the same more slender design and uh, the head is about the same size as well. They adapted that tail cap design to this. It ha now has the on off switch on it as well as the tape switch with the plug-in design. Now, while I think all three of these lights have a place in your potential lineup. This is certainly the crowning jewel, in my opinion, thus far to their rifle lights. So again, with this bad boy, they have the thousand lumen output, but they boosted it to 50,000 candela. Keep in mind that the original HLX, uh, ProTac HLX was 27,300. So they nearly doubled the candela output of this while still keeping a 1.25 hour constant runtime on its highest setting. Highest setting because it does have the 10 tap programming where you can tap uh, program in and out, low beam, high beam, or uh, strobe. And of course, I program out low beam and strobe uh, because all I want is as much light as possible on my rifles. Now, with that 50,000 candela, you're looking at a potential distance of 447 meter beam. I say potential because there's a lot of factors into that. I've gone over that in uh, previous videos when it comes to particulate in the air, and of course, 
you know, uh, 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 whatever's coming out the end of your barrel and smoke and whatnot. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can affect the beam distance, but in a vacuum, in a clean environment, you can be seeing up to 447 meters with this guy. Now, does that make a big difference? The 50,000 Candela, what, what are you getting out of that? What is the point of Candela to begin with? There's a lot of people that still chase lumens uh, because they don't understand weapon lights. Um, but Candela is the intensity and throw of the beam, lumens being the total output of light. So on a weapon light, you want a higher candela. There is such thing as too much candela where you have no spill. There's no balance between spill and hot spot. Uh, however, this has a very, very nice balance of the two. In fact, let's get into some of the night footage where I compare all three lights. All right, so there's a target out there at 50 yards. I will first show you the Protac HLX. That is the Protac HLX uh, 1000 lumen light, the original. This is the Protac 2.0. It has considerably more spill and is 2000 lumens. And now the Protac HLX Pro. And as you can see, there's the HLX, the first one. There's the Pro. They both have reasonably fully charged batteries and the Pro has a much tighter hotspot, much brighter hotspot, even though it's still just a thousand lumens. There it is again. This is the HLX. There's the ProTac 2.0 and there is the ProTac Pro. Now I have it up in my hand here and we're going to go back and forth. This is the HLX, the ProTac HLX. And you can see how fast the spill goes away from the target. Here is the ProTac 2.0, a much wider much wider beam, a lot more spill. The target's not quite as defined as with the HLX. <clears throat> and now the ProTac Pro, the target is much more defined and has almost the same spill, a little tighter spill, but a lot tighter hot spot. Now the Protec HLX, there, that target is 10 yards, that steel target. You can see the bushes behind it. That bush there is about 30 yards, that bush there. The Protac 2.0, there is that same steel target. There is that bush, again, a much wider hot spot, more spill, and the ProTac Pro, much tighter, especially up here at closer distances, much, much tighter hot spot, far more blinding hot spot with a more defined wall to the end of the throw or to the end of the spill, as you can see at the bottom right corner of your video right now. Now with that, you are also getting a 45 degree offset mount, which is what I have here instead of being just sideways mounted, which you can still do if that's something, if you're running like an IR unit on top and you need the space, you can move this to where it is straight three o'clock or nine o'clock, uh, of course, using the tape switch. You're getting, in my opinion, a better tape switch and of course this beautiful cap that has the backup button on it. And I say backup button because if you don't want to use the tape switch, you can use this, you can use the button on the tail cap, especially if you have it on the left side or right side, whichever hand your support hands on, or if your tail cap, your, your tape switch goes down, you still have a backup button to run the unit. What are you expecting to pay for something that has nearly doubled the Candela output, all kinds of new stuff on the back here that 
increases the capabilities of the light, what are you, what's the price hike? What are you really paying for? Well, take out the second mortgage of your house because this bad boy comes in at about 150 bucks. Pretty darn affordable for what you're getting. They took the best of both worlds with the Protac 2.0 and the original HLX and came out with the Pro. I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down below to where you can look at it yourself, see if it's something that you want to invest in. Uh, if you do not have a rifle light yet, this is something that I seriously and legitimately recommend. Thank you for watching out there. I appreciate everybody's support. Again, if you like this sort of content, hit that like, share, subscribe button, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below, especially your experiences with Streamlight products, because I'm guessing most of it's positive. Thank you to Streamlight for sending this out to me and a couple other lights that you'll be seeing in the very near future. I love their products, been buying their products forever, and will continue to do so. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk to you later.